Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So first, excuse the leaf blower in the background. This is the only day my husband has the avail availability to play with his toy. <laughs> so I have a trunk club. Trunk club is a styling service by Nordstrom. Pay them a $25 fee. Uh, shipping is free both ways. FedEx delivers, you just call them up. They pick it up off your porch and you only keep what you want, send back the rest. If you um, have the credit card, styling is, fee is completely waived. So I highly recommend this service for that. It saves you so much time in terms of shipping and you can try on things in your own home and just have FedEx pick it all up at once and you're not charged for anything, all right, unless you keep it. So it's not like you're waiting for a refund on your card. Highly recommend this service. I'm telling you now, I'm gonna be a Debbie Downer this month. I had a very big card tr uh, bill last month because my daughter got some trunk club items. She got a pair of Nike sneakers, she got an outfit for graduation, she got a rain jacket for college. So I'm poor right now. <laughs> Plus my mother-in-law gave me very generously a Stitch Fix gift card. So my focus is going to be uh, on purchasing items for Stitch Fix because that's where I have the credit from the gift card for Mother's Day. But I will go over these items in my trunk with you. Um, I do think this is a good trunk, but I just have to be really super choosy this month. All right, first up are these chambray all day drawstring pants by Tommy Bahama, size extra small for $110. These are 100% tensile. Um, the leg looks extremely long on me, so I doubt these will fit me, but these look like a very nice pants. They have a working drawstring waist, and it has the slash pockets, uh, no back pockets. It has the Tommy Bahama little uh, pineapple here on the back that is not very noticeable. Um, I do like these pants, just not too thrilled about the price tag and um, they're just looking too long right now. Now I will spend this kind of money on a pair of really nice pants that I like, just not this month and <laughs> at least not with Nordstrom because my, my wallet is hurting. Okay. The next thing that I have to show you is this ombre slip dress by BB Dakota. It's the ombre say you, you say slip dress by BB Dakota by Steve Madden. They're calling this a blue, but it is ombre. So the first heart is lavender. Then it goes into a yellow and then it goes into a blue. It's a typical slip dress style. There is no zipper on this. You just slip it over your head. It does have the adjustable straps. The outside is 100% rayon. There, it is lined, it's 100% polyester lining, but it is not too bad of a polyester. Like it's not too thick and clingy. So I don't think it won't be too um, hot on you. I think this would be a nice, cool summer dress. I do think that this is not going to fit me well. I think it's gonna cling too much to the wrong places and be too loose in the big places. I have pretty big hips and I have a feeling it's gonna get caught on my hips, all right? So this is probably not gonna work for me, but I did wanna try it. And this was on my Nordstrom wish list. So what I do is when I, I create a Nordstrom wish list and in my note, it asks me if I'm asking, looking for any specific items, I say, check out my wish list. So this month they actually sent me quite a bit off my wish list, which I'm pretty happy about. The next item is the Puff Sleeve Mixed Media Top by CC in red. This is your typical CC top. I believe I got the same one last month in a different color. It has the, the puff sleeves with the Swiss dot here and it has a little banded cuff. It is a straight edge bottom and it is 95% um, polyester, 5% spandex. And this will be warm during the summer months. This is not breathable at all. So I am probably not going to keep this. Um, again, it's $49. I do like it, but it's just really, I'm just not in the market for something like this right now. All right, next up by Vince Camuto. I saw this by Barbara from BC Cells and she looked great in this top, but she did not get it herself because it was not on sale. It is now on sale for $53.40. The crinkle satin mock neck top by Vince Camuto in white, size extra small. Um, let me show you this. It has the high collar, all right, that's ruched, all right. It has two little uh, tiny buttons in the back to loop it together. It has very dramatic balloon sleeves with a elastic on the bottom. It is straight across on the bottom and it is 100% polyester, it is lined, and I'm bringing it closer so you can see it kind of has like a striped detail in here that makes it look kind of crinkly, all right? So it has like a crinkle detail. 
So I do like this blouse, but again, am I really looking for 100% polyester? It's 90 degrees today. <laughs> All right, next item. All right, really like these. These are the Paley Slide Sandal by D uh, Dolce Vita, size seven in purple, $125. Gorgeous sandal, totally in style with the banded uh, square toe, uh, probably like a two and a half inch stacked heel. These are cute. Um, I really like these. Uh, I also have a lot of lavender, so I think these would be a great accent shoe. However, again, they are $125. Do I really need a purple shoe right now when I charge up a storm last month? No. So I can tell you now these are going back and I think in my Stitch Fix, I'm also getting purple sandals. So, you know, I can either get them from Stitch Fix or I can just hold off until they go on sale or until things get a little bit better right now. But I just have to be a little bit conservative this month. These are adorable though. I do like them. Okay. Next up is the Charlie Rawhem straight leg jeans for $148 by Pistola. These are my normal size 25 and they're 100% cotton. They have a button fly, all right, that is covered up. They have a step hem on the bottom, so the, it's like shorter in the front, longer in the back. I don't know, is that still in style? You guys let me know. There's also a seam that goes down the front and as well as the back leg. So that is different and unique to me. Do I need jeans? No. Do I need them for $148? Certainly no, but I do like these jeans. They're unique to me. Um, and you know, let me know about the step hem. Is that, is that passe? And that wouldn't, I don't think necessarily deter me from buying them because if you look at them, that's easily cut, right? <laughs> to make them a complete straight leg. So I don't need jeans and it's like I said, 90 degrees today. It, next weekend is Memorial Day, we're getting into summer. I wouldn't be wearing these until September. So, you know, I don't need them. You know, I really like them, but I don't need them. They're unique to me. All right, next up are the Caslon Linen Blend Pants. These are 55% linen. 45% rayon. They're only $59. They're exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a wide leg linen pant or linen blend pant. And they have the two front pockets. They have uh, slash back pockets. They have a workable drawstring waist. The only downside on um, these, uh, as, as normal, is the length. This is just way, you see, I can't even fit the whole thing into the camera. These are just gonna be way too long for me, all right? And that's unfortunate. Um, and if you haven't watched this yet, I'm only five foot two, so you'll understand, okay? Um, I will try them on for you, but I don't have high hopes of these fitting. <laughs> All right, next up is the puff sleeve button up shirt by Treasure and Bond in ivory for $48.29. This is also on sale. Now, interestingly enough about this top, I had this on my wish list and I really wanted it. Kate Benz got it in her trunk and I was jealous that she got it and I'm glad I didn't get it. So finally it goes on sale and they finally send it to me and I get it and I'm like, ew, I don't like this. <laughs> so just to let you know, that's another reason why I like trunk. I can get things, it doesn't go on my credit card. I can look at it at home and then I can say, no thank you and send it back and not have to wait for a refund. <laughs> So um, this is um, embroidery detail, which is exactly what I thought it was. What I don't like though is the color. I'm gonna come closer so you can hopefully see. This is a dark brown, it is not black. I had thought when I looked online is on black and I thought these were like more neutral and it's pink and a mustard. I don't like those colors a color combination at all, at all. And it is also um, cotton, which I knew it was, but I thought it was like a soft, airy cotton. And this is more of a stiffer cotton and boxy and wide, like very shapeless. This this is not me. Moreover, the, the V-neck in front looks quite low. So I was like thinking like an airy, loose, flowy type of top. And this is more stiff. It does have um, button cuffs right here um, in a typical cuff style. And again, straight bottom, no buttons on the, bo the body of the uh, top at all. It's just a pullover style. So this is going back, I can tell you now, it is just not me at all. It, I just pictured something completely different when I saw it online and on her. Okay, so the next thing that we have up is the Lindsay Rouge Tank. 
This is by Fourth and Reckless. It is in beige and it is $29. Um, I had asked my stylist for some nude camisoles, um, like the one that they had sent me last month, like an underwear, not a tank. You know, this has the ruching here on the side that I, I do like, but I was not looking for something like this. I was looking for like an undergarment. <laughs> so um, I don't think I'm going to keep this because I wanted to wear this underneath items. And here is the ruching right here. Um, and this, again, is by Fourth and Reckless, $29. And the material on this was like 65% polyester, sorry, 63% polyester, 29% cotton, and I think 8% spandex. So, um, you know, I don't think that this one's a keeper either. All right, um, stay tuned for the try-on. Okay, I have on the Pistola jeans first. And these are a size 25, which is my normal size, and they're 100% cotton. They do fit, but they are pretty snug. <laughs> I would not size up because they're going to uh, stretch out, just like cotton, it will relax. They're not so snug that they're uncomfortable. Um, and actually they are pretty comfortable and I think fit me well, but I don't know if they fit me well enough. Here's the back of them and the side. I don't know if they fit me well enough to justify even keeping them on my wish list. One thing I noticed, and I'll pan down, is the step hem. All right. Um, is it typical that the hem is longer in the back? I thought it was the reverse. Well, maybe not. So yeah, the step hem, it's shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. Uh, yeah, I like these. I like them a lot. Do I need jeans? Absolutely not. I don't need any kind of jeans whatsoever. They fit. I like them. I like, especially like the, the seaming detail. I like how that they're a little loose and not tight around my calves. I don't need them, especially for $148, but I probably will keep this on my Nordstrom wish list for next time. The blouse. All right. Again, this is 100% polyester. Let me come a little bit closer so you can see. It has like striped detailing in it and it has like the gathering here and the high neck. And it also has the very vol voluminous sleeves, which I think are a little, maybe a little too much for me. Um, it is not tight around the wrist at all. There's plenty of area here. The, sh the sleeves are sheer. There's two little loop buttons. Oh, I didn't even do it. I thought I buttoned them up, but the loop came undone that are very, very difficult to put on. So I'm letting everybody know that. So this is definitely a statement blouse. I do have a white statement blouse already from White House Black Market with big poofy sleeves. Um, I mean, I do want another one because I wear that one quite often. I want, but I think I want that one. That one's like a poplin. I think I want the same for my next white blouse, like a poplin with stretch to it. So I'm gonna pass on this. I think it was $55 and change, which I don't think is a bad price, but for now I'll pass. All right, let me pan down so you can see the shoes. And I don't think I'll keep this top on my wish list. It's not something I think I need in my closet at all, no matter what the price. All right, the shoes, they're cute, all right? If I had the money, and I, have, I do have quite a bit of lavender stuff, I keep these um, because they would be a cute little accent piece. I like them a lot, um, and they're very comfortable. But uh, right now, I just can't justify this. I might get them at Stitch Fix because, like I said, I have that gift card there, and not with Nordstrom. <laughs> All right, so I will keep the shoes on my wish list, um, and I'll probably keep the jeans. I have to look back at the footage and my wish list, but right now they're going to be a pass, especially because it's also off season. All right, the dress. I tried every which way to get this dress on you. It wasn't happening. <laughs> it, it's just way, way too small. So for the record, I'm like a 32, sorry, sorry, I'm a 34 CD. And I would say the top of this is meant for like a 32A. It was just, it was not coming around the girls at all, at all. I mean, it was really narrow at top. Like I couldn't, I pulled it over my head and like stopped at like my chest and that was it. I could not get it down at all. So um, if you are smaller buster than me, this would work for you. It is very pretty, very pretty, but I also don't think this, this type of style works for me. Um, I'm just kind of a shorter stockier and have more curves to my body. And I just think this would cling in all the wrong places, but it is beautiful. I do like it. I just don't think the style will work for my body type. So I'm kind of sad I can't show it to you because I really kind of wanted to see what it looked like on. Um, 
So I would, uh, either if you're very thin lean, stay the size. If you have any curves at all, and if you're endowed at all on top, size up on this one. All right, so that's four out of the items. Give me a minute, I'm gonna throw on something. Else. Okay, it's 90 degrees here in New Jersey, and I am roasting doing this try on. All right, first up is the treasure and bond top. As I mentioned, it looks nothing to me. The color scheme, I just don't like the color scheme. And I just don't like this top. This is just too boxy for my taste. Um, you know, I can try doing a front tuck. I just, it, this is just not my style. Um, it has the button here is on the cuff. It is 100% cotton. I'll come close so you can see all the embroidery detail. I do think that now that it's on sale, it's at a decent price. Um, the fabric is not the softest cotton I've ever felt, but it, it's not too horrible either. You know, um, it could be better. The pants, all right, I could see why these are so cheap. There's different qualities of every fabric, including polyester and rayon. Um, so yeah, cheap rayon will shrink. Good quality rayon, not usually so bad, all right? Everything will shrink to a certain extent in the wash, but if it's cheap rayon, it shrinks to nothingness. If it's a good quality rayon, you can wash it and hang to dry and you're usually good. These pants are a linen blend, and I, I gave you, I think it was 55% uh, linen, 45% cotton, I think I read off below. Um, these are uh, not a quality pant. <laughs> they might be made quality, uh, but the fabric themselves is scratchy. And everyone's, people might say, oh, but linen is always scratchy. Not good quality linen. These are scratchy material. Moreover, they're way too long for me. I'll show you, uh, I'll pan down here. Even with these long heels, I'm like tripping over them. There's just way too much fabric. And moreover, it is way too much fabric in this area as well too. Unfortunately, when you're petite, you're not just petite in your legs, you're petite from your rise here. So your fabric needs to um, accommodate a shorter rise, the, the style of the pants. They do have the side pockets, like I mentioned, and they do have the back pockets as I'm tripping over the bottom of the pants. <laughs> Um, they're a nice style. I do not like the fabric on this. I can't wear itchy pants. The whole point of these is to be loose and flowy and breathy. And th these are a scratchy material. All right, next item. Okay, next up are the Tommy Bahama uh, chambray pants. And let me tell you, these are much, much better quality. Uh, the fabric is beautiful on these. Of course, it comes with the $110 price tag. Moreover, they fit here in the rise. Uh, there's not too much extra fabric here. There's no pulling. It fits beautifully in this area. They are still too long. So if I were to keep these, I would need to um, actually get them hemmed. So that's not so horrible. Um, but honestly, I can't justify a $110 pair of pants right now. And I would also have to look up on the footage and see how these actually looked on me are they that flattering to justify them and I, I don't know all right i'm actually going to be turning around here quite a bit to even make that determination because i might order these in a future trunk and i might even see if these come in petite and or look for them on sale myself online um so these are i highly recommend it if you have the budget for it if you want a pair of loose fitting chambray pants these are nice <laughs> they're definitely nice and they definitely fit well uh, again, the price tag, the top. All right, this is a CC top, typical 100% polyester CC mixed material. You see it has um, the poof sleeves with the Swiss dot on it. It's very cute, but like, you know, I have a red top. Granted, it's a little different because it's sleeveless, but it also has like the uh, texture on it. This is from Stitch Fix. It's a Market and Spruce brand. It's also mixed media with the back to it, but do I really need another red top for summer? This is also, um, even though this is polyester, this is what I would say is more breathable even than this one. This one is not too breathable. This would be if we're a dry climate and like 75 degrees or less. <laughs> So um, no to the top, the pants, they're not a maybe from Trunk Club, but I am going to start looking for them and see if I can find them as long as the footage makes me look okay. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna have just that one tank to try on. Okay, I'm dressed for fall now. <laughs> I put back on the jeans. I really do like the way these fit. They feel really good on me and already they relax. So they're, they're not snug at all. I feel they fit me very well. Um, 
you let me know about the style of these. Is it worth me putting on my uh, saved items list and look for sale of these? Like I said, I need denim like I need a hole in my head. But these are a different style than I have already. And I do really like the way they fit. I just can't justify $148 of jeans when it's 90 degrees outside and we're heading into summer. The top is something that I got from a Trendsend a while back. And the tank, which I got from Nordstrom, the trunk right now, is underneath. And this is the kind of idea that I had a thought of wearing with this tank. So I first will show you with the sweater on and we'll make the determination. So it does have the ruche size and I tucked the strings underneath so they wouldn't hang out. Um, and I have other, other tops to go with this too. So let me take the sweater off so you can actually see the tank. All right, what do we think? I think we can get away with it the rear sides um, that you don't see it underneath the sweater. And maybe this tank can be dual purpose to wear under sweaters and whatnot and also be a summer tank. I'm not so sure. So it's it's more of a khaki color than it is really a um, nude like I wanted. <laughs> um, you do kind of see my muffin top a little bit here. I mean, it's not horrible and I can bunch it up so it doesn't look so bad. I don't know. This is $29, and I actually do have to put a charge on my card this month because last month I returned the earrings, and I asked for, actually didn't return them, I asked for exchange, and they ended up returning them. So I said, well, why didn't I get my exchange? They said, oh, we had it as a return. So they just sent them along in this trunk. So I'm going to keep these. I believe these were $29. I exchanged the silver for gold because I didn't have any gold um, zirconia earrings. Like I said, I like them tiny so they look like diamonds. <laughs> so what do you think of this tank? I'll definitely get the earrings. And I'm thinking maybe the tank because it is $29 and it can, I think, serve dual purposes. Is it worth it? Is it bra friendly? That's my most important. It does seem to fit under the arms. So I'm thinking about keeping this. In a perfect world, I would keep the jeans and I would keep the shoes. I'm going to return the chambray pants and I'm going to look to see online anywhere if I can get them cheaper and also in a petite. So chances are probably not, but at least I know I like those. Those are nice quality. I like the way they feel. Um, the ones from Caslon were just awful. They were just very, very scratchy, very poor quality, which is why they were only $59. The way they were made seemed well, but the fabric material is awful. Passing on that treasure and bomb top didn't look like anything like I ex expected. The dress was just way too long. Um, so actually, I think uh, long, too small. Uh, this was a good trunk. I really like the lavender shoes. I really like the jeans. I like this tank, whether I need it or not, I'm not so sure. Keeping the earrings. So really not a bad box. Not a bad box at all. It's more about my budget that's a problem. Well, thank you again for returning subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? Click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me and give me a thumbs up. And sorry, thanks for hanging in there with me. Take care until next time.